Let's take a close look at the control surfaces and how they actually operate and how they affect the model in flight. First of all, let's have a look at the elevator. The elevator is responsible for altering the attitude of the model so that it either flies up or down. And very simply, if we demonstrate pulling back on the stick, the elevators rise, the tail of the model is deflected downwards, so the nose will rise. So we pull back on the stick to make the model climb, and conversely, by pushing forward on the stick, the elevator goes downwards, the nose of the model will drop, and the model will, will dive. The next control surface is the rudder. And the rudder basically is operated by the left-hand stick on this particular transmitter, and that's the operation. Turn the stick to the right, the rudder goes right, and the model will yaw to the right. Left stick, rudder goes left, and the model will yaw to the left. With a model in this particular configuration, turns are normally carried out through the ailerons. And basically what happens here is that when we give some right stick, the right aileron rises, the left aileron at the same time dips, and the model will tend to tilt across to the right. The offset applies if we give some left stick. The right aileron drops down, the left aileron rises, and the model will tend to bank to the left.